hello, hello, wonderful people. Hello, welcome to a new week and this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Abigail Mensa Bonsu. I am the founder of the Moon Goddess Academy and the Moon Goddess Circles, as well as the host of the Sovereign Divinity Podcast. Welcome. Shall we begin? So when I tuned into this week's energy, I got an image and the image, it was more like colors. And so the colors that I got, um, it has like this pink, um, this light pink. And as I'm saying it, it's like my ears are starting to like ring this nice pink energy or light color. Um, and then it has this light blue and then golden specks in there. So like this golden sparkle in there. So we have the, the pink, or I should say light pink. Let me see if I have something that I can show. Maybe, let's see here. Mm, not quite. It's like a nice, like just, when you, when you look at it, when you tune into it, it's just so soothing. Um, it just kind of like wraps you in this warm blanket. So we have a light blue, almost like turquoise. Um, and then we have the pink and then it just this beautiful golden sparkles, just tying it all together. And it's just yummy, yummy energy this week, right? So as you listen to the imagery of um, what this week's energy is about, what is coming up for you, right? I want you to pay attention to what's coming up for you. So if I were to just dissect the, the, what the frequency of the colors mean. So we know pink um, represents the love of the divine mother, the divine father. It just represents love in general. And I'm talking about the highest level of love, right? And that's why I said the love from the divine mother and the divine father in our own hearts, like bringing those two, merging those and just filling our heart cup <laughs> or our heart chalice with that love until it's overflowing and it flows through every area of ourselves and into every area of our body uh, of our lives and then when you go into blue blue immediately it's like i'm taken into the throat chakra right activation of the throat chakra speaking your truth which means that there's a clearing of um the fear around speaking up right that's going to be going on this week um and let's see what else was coming in for that. It's like throat chakra, removing, uh, removing the, the blocks that prevent you from speaking your truth or just speaking in general, like sharing, sharing who you are, you know, just speaking in general. And then the gold is just the divine support that you have this week which is so important, especially if you've been following these um, weekly goddess energy forecasts that's one of the things that you receive is the awareness of the amazing energies that you get to work with, co-create with. You get to work with your higher self, which is, you know, like priority. Higher self connection is priority. We have the angels, the archangels. We have the God and Goddess Council. We have the Council of Light. We have the Ascended Masters. I mean, the list goes on and on. But we have amazing higher beings who get to work with us they want to work with us actually they they signed up to work with us so if you've been following me or if you've been listening to the goddess energy forecast this is not new to you um this invitation i always invite you guys to um tap into that energy and get to work with them and get to know them because we we, we it's a blessing it's a, we don't have to do this journey alone so that is kind of like what is coming through for this week. Let's see if there's anything else. And I want to hear from you. When you tap into the different colors, the different frequencies, what is coming up for you? Go ahead and share that with me in the comments. I would love to hear what you get from it. So with that said, let's just go ahead and move through so I can bring the transmissions for this week for you. So as always, let's get centered within our hearts. So taking a deep breath in, you can place your hand on your heart and breathe, breathe, breathe. Imagine that you're breathing in light. 
from above and pulling it into your heart and seeing that light just expand out all around you, like pulsating out, pouring out. And then see another light, just breathing it from the Divine Mother's heart up into your heart. And again, let it mix in with the heavenly light and pulsate out, creating this beautiful bubble of light around you. Pay attention to, to the color of your bubble of light and share that with me because that tells you what you need this week and also what realm or what you're going to be working on this week. So share that in a comment with me as well. But breathe as you step into or as you stand in the middle of this divine bubble that you have co-created with the divine mother and the divine father. And breathe. Breathe in that light into your being. Breathe in that light into all levels of your bodies, your mental body, your emotional body, your physical body, especially your physical body because that's the densest of all the bodies and then your spiritual body which is the lightest of all the bodies so breathe and out see that light just pour into every organ every vessel every cell let it rejuvenate each cell within your body let it awaken your highest expression of what this body is here to be and and feel and experience let me awaken that so breathe and out go ahead and call in your higher self and your holy spirit self into your heart now call in all your guides your circle of empowerment your guardians, your angels, all those higher level beings who have signed up to work with you for your highest good to show up for you and feel them begin to like show up around you and create this beautiful circle around you. Like feel their support, feel their presence. And thank them for showing up for you. Beautiful. Beautiful. And from this place of centeredness and support, divine support, go ahead and ask, what is this week about for me? Where should I focus my energy this week? Where should I focus my energy this week? One, two, or three. And once you have received your number or numbers, still being in your heart, just open up ready to receive your message for the week, your guidance for the week. All right. So quick then, if you were drawn to card number one this week, it's about receiving a transmission, a divine transmission, which is like receiving a message. But the beauty about transmission is that it's a message that is encoded with an activation. So um, this might be, this might look like where you actually receive a download, right? And through that download, it's like, um, oh, there's something else also coming. I'll share real quick. Where through that download, you know, you get activated, your DNA gets activated too. It might be, you know, through someone giving you a book that, you know, you the moment you touch it, you feel like you just come alive. It might be music, through music, right? And music encoded with frequency that just activates you. So pay attention to the divine messages that you receive this week, especially starting with this one, right? And then if you were drawn to card number two, or if you received card number two, this week is about activation. So this week is just all about activation. So pay attention to what is being activated within you, whether it is, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. Pay attention to what level. It might be all of them too. So pay attention to where you're being activated. Usually this area will be the most charged at this, you know, this time in this week. It will be the area that is literally to the forefront um, where you're probably experiencing more of the challenges or probably also where you're experiencing the most peace than the most, um, the, the most, best that you can experience in that in that area of your life so pay attention to where you're being activated 
I'm also getting activated of new activation of new gifts. So pay attention to that. If you are drawn to card number three, or if card number three calls you, this week is about taking divine inspired actions. Divine inspired actions. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, begin. So card number one, Mentaken. Oh, oh, if you guys can see this, I feel like at least with this card, you can see that blue. This is like the blue that came through. Oh, I wonder if the other cards will have the colors. Okay, so Mentaken um, is a planet. It's one of the planets that um, some of the souls here, currently here on the on Earth, originated from. Is uh, you know, if you're a star seed, you usually come from you know Mentaken or Andromeda or Sirius or Pleiade. I mean, there's so many you know. Um, places of origin, which we are very aware of at this time. So Mintaken is one of the planets. And Mintaka is known especially for its clear turquoise waters. I mean, it's like crystal waters where you can see all the way to the bottom. That's how clear it is. Beautiful. Um, I'm a Mintaken Andromedan soul. Um, I also have like Sirius comes up too, but definitely like that that connection to clear waters. Like I can feel myself. I can see myself swimming. Like going back and swimming into these crystalline, activating seas. So if you're drawn to card number one, the message is this: You might be actually. If you're drawn to card number one, because it really brings up the concept of star seeds. And one of the biggest challenges for star seeds is that they long to go back home. Um, some of the star seeds, their planets don't even exist anymore, and which makes it even harder, right? But it's the longing to go back home. Um, they, they usually come in. I'm a star seed. You know, if you're a star seed, let me know to put in a comment um, and how this resonates with you. This usually the, the challenge usually is to really anchor the light because star seeds come in with really high frequency, plenty of light. I mean, they come in for a higher purpose, which is to elevate the planet, you know, consciousness of the planet and the, you know, like humanity as a whole, which, you know, it can be very dense and being a star seed who is very higher vibration. I mean, most star seeds will come in like seventh dimension, 12th dimension, you know, and above depending on what your purpose is. So they come in very high frequency, high energy, high light. And the challenge is to actually anchor all that deliciousness into mother earth so they can help her elevate and help everyone else also elevate in consciousness so this card is about longing for home it's about belonging it's also it's talking about the original light light workers which i've been talking about so shall we just dive into the message so just a little bit about the mintakin um soul group so that you know you might be like oh this really resonates with me. Um, maybe I should look into that. So Mintakans are a soul group who originated on a planet in the constellation Orion. They were the first star beings to travel to Earth and believed to be the original light workers. The Mintakans' home is thought to have been a water world, a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, Mintakans feel most at peace and at home when in or around crystal clear waters. They're here to teach us to see the potential in everything and the light in all beings. If you know me, you know, I'm all about that. <laughs> that is encoded within me. Many Mintakans have an odd longing for home and struggle with feeling like they don't belong. It is thought that this is due to the home planet no longer being in existence. If you um, receive this card, it could mean that you are a Mintakan or are longing for a sense of belonging and, and root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel safe and secure. This is very important. I, th I feel like it's very important for all star seeds to really work on that, um, on that root chakra so that you can feel safe and secure on this planet and root down your light so that you can do your work, right? Which is to elevate the consciousness of humanity and the planet. 
to root chakra if i mean even if you're not a star seed you know and you're feeling if you're not feeling safe if you're not feeling secure this could be you know home wise this could be financial this could be relationship like where in your life are you not feeling safe or secure go to your root chakra activate it see that beautiful red swirling light activated and then of course activate the other chakras too because you can't just do one and leave the rest they are beautifully in sync when one is out of balance it throws everything off and the root chakra, I mean, we have the, um, the earth star below the root chakra. And then we also have the soul star above the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. And they kind of hold it, you know, they hold it down for us. But the root, see it as the, what anchors us into the planet, right? And then our crown is what connects us to what is above. So those two need to be definitely balanced. When they're um, holding, when they're in um, balance, then it can actually balance all the other chakras in between, right? But when those two are out of balance, it throws everything off. So star seeds, your root chakra, because you're, you probably came in already with your crown chakra, just activated, fully loaded, like your all your higher chakras are online. And usually it's about anchoring. So your root chakra, your sacral chakra, um, maybe even a little bit of your solar plexus, um, but definitely sacral and root chakra, make sure you really um, get those clear, cleaned and activated. You can always call on your higher self to do this. And you your divine team calling the angels to come in and just clear, cleanse, balance, and align all of your energy centers. Mm. Okay, what's, what's next? Perhaps you feel this longing to find home without knowing where that is. Perhaps you have been moving around a lot and yearn for a place on earth to call your own. If so, you're being called to connect with Mother Earth and create it for yourself now to choose where you feel most at home and create it rather than waiting for the feeling of belonging to come. So here is a tr your, your transmission for you. Because remember, the first card, if, you, if you're if drawn to the first card this week, is about transmission. So this is your first transmission. <laughs> Let's see what else comes. So just go ahead and look at the card, taking some deep breaths in. And repeat after me. I allow myself to be truly here. I allow myself to be truly here and at home on this planet. I release any grief around not belonging or feeling held and call in the perfect home. I allow myself to be truly here and at home on this planet. I release any grief around not belonging or feeling held and call in the perfect home. Taking a deep breath in and out. Beautiful. So that is card number one. Mm. Card number two. Ooh, this card shows perfectly the colors that I was talking about. And then you mix in that golden. So if you're drawn to card number two, this is your card, Imrama. Imrama. And the card says, where are you being called to journey? Remember, if you're drawn to card number two, this week is all about activation. So what is being activated in your life? And the question that this card is bringing you is, where are you being called to journey to? Let's see what the message is with this card. The Celtic word Imrama means a journey of the soul a voyage on which we don't know where we are going but our soul knows the way if you receive this card you are either being called on a soul journey or are already on one it could be to a physical ancient place or metaphoric when you journey to places that your soul remembers a shift a shift takes place both within you and to the planet as well you're being called to journey to a place that is sacred to your soul. Perhaps it is to journey to the world's sacred site or call to, to cross the country 
climb a mountain, lie on the desert floor, or drink from an ancient well. There are places to see and old friends to meet. I see spontaneous pilgrimages in your future. If a physical voyage is impossible, journey through the portal of your heart. Follow the invisible soul trail and be willing to explore. Maybe read a book or watch a movie about a sacred time or place. Or perhaps you're being called to study an ancient lineage or body of work. Whatever your circumstance, your soul is ready to journey deep. So there's a couple of levels here, right? So the journey, this this is about a soul journey. Now this could be, you know, physically having the ability to travel to an ancient site on this planet, which actually helps you remember, it kind of activates your ancient soul memories, right? Or it could also be using your heart portal, like tapping into your heart portal and letting it take you to ancient places in the cosmos, in the universe in general, right? Because we know that our heart is the portal. So the heart will always take you to where you need to go. And of course, it also activates ancient wisdom about who you are and what you're here to do. So if you're drawn to card number two, get ready. You know, something big is getting activated for you this week. Pay attention. So here is your activation. Again, take, you know, take a deep breath in. I love, love the colors in this card. The camera doesn't even do it justice. All right, so taking a deep breath in, put your hand on your heart and repeat after me. May seeds of light long ago planted begin to rise. May seeds of light long ago planted begin to rise. I am ready to remember ancient secrets from lands that my soul knows from time past. May I be held by the ancient lineages that my soul has served and remember that I don't have to do it all alone. May seeds of light long ago planted begin to rise. I am ready to remember ancient secrets from lands that my soul knows from time past. May I be held by the ancient lineages that my soul has served and remember that I don't have to do it alone. Card number two, Imrama, activation. Where are you being called to journey to? Beautiful. If you were drawn to card number three, this week is all about taking that soul aligned sacred action spirit inspired action so this card is the initiation so you're also going to be receiving on this some kind of initiation this week right so here's the card i love this card it's very powerful very very powerful i hope you can see just taking a deep breath in and just taking the imageries really cool all right so this card is about the rites of passage and crossing the threshold. This is the card that um, called to me. So it's about moving from, you know, whatever, perhaps whatever challenge. And if you look at the card, you know, I'll say challenge because it's like moving from the dark lands into that illuminated, thriving, beautiful, colorful land through that portal right there, right? So it's like we're crossing the threshold. We're moving from the challenges into, you know, the, the thriving state, the blossoming state, the gift of our journey. So here's the message. Some of the most sacred initiation chambers and temples look scary from the outside, but are breathtakingly beautiful on the inside. This represents the journey that the soul pil pilgrim is required to take to reach somewhere sacred but only the initiated can enter perhaps that's where you are right now you are being tested initiated because you are headed somewhere sacred hmm. i'm gonna repeat that again because that felt really good perhaps that's where you are right now you are being tested initiated because you are headed somewhere sacred 
Initiations require that we cross the threshold from one world or state of being to the next. We are called to face what scares us and have to be willing to lose it all in order to gain a new way of being, of safety, of security, of depths, of meaning. Initiations, like rites of passage, mark the shift from one age to the next and can take place because, um, because of emotional turmoil, great loss, grief, or devastation. But it is through the seeming hardship that our hearts crack open and our spirit is invested to step forward. It is through the seeming hardship that our heart cracks open and our spirit is invested to step forward. We take the sacred voyage into the into more of who we are and who we came here to be. It can be painful and scary, but once we begin the journey, we can be more ourselves than ever before. If you are in the middle of an initiation right now, you will get through it. And one day soon, you will bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. You are going somewhere sacred. It will be worth it. And you're closer than you think. Taking a deep breath in and out. As you can see, this week is powerful, powerful, powerful. I mean, I feel like lately just we've had such an opportunity to elevate in ways that we never were able to in the previous years. And I feel like that is all because we rose up. We're in the fifth dimension now. And, you know, people are still transitioning into the fifth dimensional consciousness, but it is a higher level consciousness, higher level frequency and vibration that truly supports us in rising up. If we choose, remember, we have a choice. And if you've been following me for a while, I know you do want more you want to know more of yourself you want to you know live your best life you want to serve like really serve in a big way create a bigger impact right love love really love big time so um it's just really cool like all the messages that we receive all the support that we're receiving um to really get us through to that next level Right. This is a beauty of ascension. Um, in the past, ascension was always known to be more of a spiritual thing. But we're really learning what ascension means. Yes, our, our consciousness gets elevated to a higher level. But our physicality, our physical reality, our physical bodies also does that out as well. Our physical bodies, our physical realities is what anchors that new higher frequency so that we can experience that amazingness in this here and now, in this time that we're in, right? It's not just like a spiritual thing that we can't really reach or have any proof on. We're truly building our heaven on earth. We have the opportunity to do that. And anything that is in the way of it is being cleared so that we can truly pull through what our heaven is and anchor it into our earth such powerful times we're in so close your eyes taking a deep breath in i'm just gonna smooth out your energy field right now <laughs> get you ready for an amazing week whatever comes through know that you're not alone you're not alone you have amazing guides and guardians and your higher self with you. You have the love of the divine mother and the divine father. You're held in that love. You're never alone. So let's go ahead and clear, cleanse, smooth, and bless your energy field. Taking a deep breath in. Turu setia dan kiat dia turu dia nanti sari dan doa ya 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 uru si dia aku rasa nua kiri resnua cara setia kerja nana ati rosuru kiara dia nasi nua kiat dia rosu
Su, 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 tia, tia, nieta, tu, ru, se, mia, tia, tia, ra, su, 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 tia, ra, se, mia, tua, che, tira, che, tiro, a, nieta, sa, ha, su, tu, I bless your mind, I bless your heart, I bless your body, I bless your path, I bless your vision and your mission, I bless your hands, I bless your feet, I bless all that you are. May you experience the best week ever. May you wake up to more of you every single day. May you feel whole and balanced and secure and safe and in tuned and connected. May you feel loved unconditionally. May you see love and beauty everywhere that you look. So be it and so it is. Aho, aho, aho. So before I close, it's just quick announcement. My archetype program is open. Um, so I will be, I'm doing like a mini series right now. So if you don't know what the archetypes are or your soul archetypes, because in this day and age, there's so many archetypes out there. Um, you know, the people do quizzes for Brandon archetype, your goddess archetype. But what I'm really talking about is your soul archetype, your 12 soul archetypes that make up your divine blueprint. So if you're interested, go ahead and send me a message and I'll send you the link to register for it. I am doing an early price just for this week. Um, if you sign up this week, um, the price is 333. If you, you know, after that is going to go to the normal price of 597. So if you're really called to this program, if you're really interested in knowing who you are, answering that question of who am I? You need to be in this program. Um, it is, I make this process very fun. I feel like knowing yourself should be fun. Um, but what you receive from the course, what you receive from this program is priceless and truly life changing. So if you're feeling the call for it, go ahead and send me a message and I will send you the link to um, register with the early price. Um, and that's only for this week. So um, after this week, then it will go to the normal price of $5.97. So if you're interested, let me know. All right, my loves, from my heart to yours. Until next time, have a fabulous week. Bye, beloveds. Mm -hmm.